session we'll discuss now virus is causing hepatitis we'll start with the case scenario so it's a case of 30 years old nurse a presented with history of loss of appetite malaise and jaundice for past 2 months on examination there was icterus on eyes so you have yellow color uh, conjunctiva hepatomegaly and tenderness in the right hypochondrian region is the place where the liver is placed okay so right hypochondrian uh, region she gave a history of needle prick injury in the past so that may be a uh, uh, mode of transmission of the virus so the liver enzymes were found to be elevated so it's a typical case of hepatitis because you have liver enlargement a uh, pain in the hypochondrian region a presence of icterus so all this point towards the uh, clinical diagnosis to be hepatitis and having a history of needle prick injury is also a uh, pointing towards it could be a case of maybe hepatitis b uh, which is a most common virus to be transmitted through a needle prick injury or occasionally even c also okay so what are the laboratory investigation you would like to recommend so you should Uh, recommend the uh, laboratory investigations to diagnose hepatitis B and hepatitis C virus uh, infections. Okay, so we'll discuss those uh, laboratory uh, uh, parameters in our subsequent slides. So uh, today's session is on viruses uh, causing hepatitis. So the learning objective of this session include we will be discussing the epidemiology, clinical manifestation, uh, laboratory diagnosis, treatment. prevention of various hepatitis viruses okay so in this session we will uh, uh, discuss hepatitis a and b and in the next session we will be discussing hepatitis c d and e apart from that we will also discuss in the next session about yellow fever and its detail yellow fever and its uh, clinical manifestation and other details okay so what are the viruses that can cause hepatitis the viruses uh, causing hepatitis are known to be having hepatotropic in nature uh, that is they should have uh, predilection for liver infection the classical example include all hepatitis viruses from hepatitis a to hepatitis e okay apart from that you have yellow fever uh, virus which is arbovirus and there are list of other uh, viruses where hepatitis may be a, a manifestation may be a side manifestation like for example a cytomegaly virus epstein barr herpes simplex so all these are herpes group of uh, viruses where hepatitis may be a, a one of the manifestation uh, rarely even adenovirus rubella coxsackie virus especially uh, coxsackie b okay like mumps hantaviruses these are the other list of viruses where hepatitis may be uh, seen as a side manifestation however this uh, viruses will cause the major infections else elsewhere hence uh, these are discussed in other systems okay so we will be discussing about hepatitis viruses and yellow fever uh, virus so we'll start with hepatitis uh, viruses so what do you mean by hepatitis uh, viruses they are heterogeneous group of viruses please uh, remember these are not taxonomically a belonging to the uh, uh, these are not taxonomically a belonging to the uh, same group they are heterogeneous group they are taxonomically diverse they are taxonomically diverse they are called as hepatitis viruses they are discussed always uh, together uh, because of the common property that they are hepatotropic all of them are hepatotropic in nature otherwise they are uh, taxonomically diverse uh, for example hepatitis a virus uh, belongs to a picorna virus that is enterovirus 72 hepatitis b is the only hepatitis uh, virus uh, that is a dna virus but uh, the rest hepatitis uh, viruses are rna virus and it belongs to Hepatna family Hepatitis C virus uh, belongs to Flaviviridae family Hepatitis D is 
an unclassified virus also called as delta agent and hepatitis e uh, belongs to caliciviridae family okay so as i told you hepatitis a to e they are five different taxonomically placed of viruses they are discussed or together because they are hepatotropic in nature they are known to cause acute inflammation of liver are uh, producing characteristically histological changes in in liver okay that is the reason why they are discussed uh, together uh, so let us have a note on how these hepatitis a viruses they differ from each other hepatitis a and e can be uh, discussed or uh, together uh, because they differ a lot from hepatitis b and c and d so uh, there are some commonality uh, between a and e uh, there are some common feature uh, between b c and d so uh, let us discuss those things in detail the nucleic acid wise hepatitis a and e are having rna c and d are also having rna whereas hepatitis b is the only hepatitis virus that is known to have dna okay it has double standard dna whereas the other hepatitis viruses will have single standard rna now b c and d are enveloped viruses whereas a and e there is no envelope okay uh, coming to the symmetry hepatitis b and c will have a spherical symmetry whereas a and e they have icosahedron uh, symmetry transmission wise uh, there is a clear cut uh, distinction a and e are transmitted by feco oral route whereas b c and d are transmitted by blood parenteral root sexual and rarely by vertical transmission from mother to fetus onset for a and e are having a relatively abrupt onset having a shorter incubator incubation period of roughly 15 to 45 days whereas b c d has a have a longer onset they have insidious onset and their incubation period is uh, uh, longer around 30 to 180 days uh, roughly there is some uh, minor differences also but on an average a uh, 30 to 180 days uh, coming to the carrier please remember there is no carrier stage for a and e there is no chronicity and there is no long term oncogenicity also and a fulminant hepatitis also the chances are rare whereas hepatitis b c and d they can become uh, carious there is chance to uh, develop into chronic infection they can cause hepatocellular cancer they have a propensity of oncogenicity also and fulminant he- hepatitis the chance is more and it is maximum seen with hepatitis d virus a fulminant hepatitis a and e the fulminant hepatitis is rare except hepatitis e in pregnancy hepatitis e in pregnancy can cause fulminant hepatitis otherwise the chance of fulminant hepatitis is rare a uh, coming to the treatment there is they say that there is no antiviral drugs available for hepatitis a and e but uh, there are antiviral drugs we will be uh, discussing in detail in the subsequent slides available for treatment of hepatitis b and c and to some extent hepatitis d also prognosis by hep- hepatitis a and e has they have a better prognosis whereas b c d they have a variable uh, prognosis okay so these are the by and large uh, differences uh, between a and e from hepatitis b c and d okay in general a and e they are transmitted by fecoral route they can cause only acute infection they usually do not cause chronic neither do uh, neither they go into carrier stage 
neither they are develop into hepatocellular cancer or cirrhosis whereas b c and d they have a high pro- uh, propensity of uh, develop into a carrier and also chronicity and also they can be uh, the agent of hepatocellular cancers okay so on an average a and e they have a shorter incubation period and they have a broad onset uh, whereas b c and d have they have a longer in- incubation period uh, so these are the overall differences now we will see a case scenario